Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. My name's Breezy, and I'm here to talk for a couple minutes to recap my week and talk about what's going on in the world of Breeze. Um, I just finished recording a YouTube video, which you guys will have watched yesterday if you guys are up to date on videos. If you're not up to date on videos, um, spoil alert. If you care about that or don't care about that, skip ahead. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got molly whopped. Absolutely molly whopped. I was just playing after doing a you know eight hour stream for our long stream Fridays, which was a huge success. I loved it. I'll talk more about that. But yeah, we just got mopped in the in the Ultra Moon playthrough. So if you haven't caught that, go watch it. It just came up yesterday. But we are looking for a new playthrough to do. Um, thinking of doing Emerald Sea Glass or the Black Pearl that we just started. I'm thinking of doing something with that, maybe. Uh, doing just like a regular playthrough of it, because it's a pretty cool game. Style of it's really cool. Um, I've been just I've just really liked it so far. So I think doing that could be solid. Um, and yeah, I guess we gotta figure it out. It's probably gonna take, you know, a couple, maybe like a week to get the next playthrough done. Uh, get the next playthrough ready. Uh, I need to get like a thumbnail made and everything. So it's probably gonna be like a week, week and a half before the next YouTube series starts. Uh, which, you know, is what it is. But yeah, this, this is the first week. I talked about it in the last episode. Uh, this is the first week we did the voting with gifted subs for the game that I play. And it went really well. Uh, we had five votes for Tarkov. We had five votes for Vanilla Blue Nuzlocke. We had a vote for Purgatory. Uh, and then right at the at the buzzer pretty much schwartz came in on thursday and dropped 89 gifted so we hit the 100 so we hit the sub goals to do the long stream and he voted for the game black pearl so that one ended up winning by you know no surprise it was a huge huge chance for him <sighs> so uh we went live on friday we did ironmon for like an hour and a half I probably could have done a little longer than that, but I wanted to get into the big the game Black Pearl, and I know Schwartz's schedule is a little rough, and he was there at the time, and I wanted him to at least get to see it. Uh, I know he's he's on another side of the world, so his schedule is complete opposite of ours usually, and I uh, just wanted to get onto it before he had to like go to bed or something. I didn't really know what his day was going to be like. He ended up hanging for pretty much the whole stream, but I uh, did that for like five hours after like almost like an hour and a half or two hours of Ironmon. And then I played some PGA just to wrap up at the end of the night. Did a round of a tournament in the PGA Tour game I've been playing. And I went like 28 under or something like that. Won my first rookie tournament in the PGA. Beast mode. Uh, but yeah, it was a good stream. Felt good to do a nice longer stream. You know, eight hours is like, it's exhausting to do, you know, eight straight hours. You know, without like an actual little break in between. Aside from like bathroom breaks or getting... You know, put the goats away or something. Trying to do eight straight hours is definitely exhausting, especially with Pokemon. You know, if we had been playing a different game, you know, if something else had won, maybe it wouldn't have been as difficult, but it was still fine. You know, it wasn't it wasn't as bad. Doing the TikTok streams plus the kick streams is like extra exhausting. Just answering, you know, what game is this? What game is this? Or what happened to the Iron Mon? What happened to this? What happened to that? Like those questions, you know, they're just curious viewers. They're not trying to be, you know, they're not trying to like mess up the vibe or exhaust me or nothing. They're just genuinely curious. So I try to keep my patience with it, even though sometimes I get exhausted and fed up. I do try my best. Um, but when I shut that off and we switched over to the new game and... You know, it wasn't like a super sweaty game. I didn't have to be like a super tryhard, like Radical Red. Yeah, I wasn't doing calcs and nothing like that. I was just kind of playing through it. Um, it was pretty solid. It went for went pretty good for eight hours. Um, I think if we do hit the eight hours again, I'll probably try to do a little bit more Ironmon. Extend it for, you know, closer to three hours. Maybe like two to two and a half. And then switch over to the voted game try to do like four hours of that and then wrap up again with you know something else for like an hour or two maybe i do a round of the golf and the pga it's kind of a good game for me doesn't really take too much you know mental energy to play you know the chat usually gets a little dead when i play that so 
less comments, less chatting, just more just playing a little game, winding down for a bit. So it kind of works out for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it was a good week. It was a good week. We did the week, the schedule, one o'clock start every day this week. I didn't miss a single day. I went live. I think I went live at, I think I started like 12.50 to 12.55-ish, like a couple times. <laughs> Excuse me, just to be on a little early. But it went really well. Let me see, I can see my start times. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> Monday, I lied. Monday, I had a doctor's appointment. So this whole schedule of starting at 1 o'clock every day, I had a doctor's appointment at 1.30 on Monday. I forgot about that. So on Monday, we did a 10 a.m. stream. We did like a 10 to noon stream. And then I got back from the doctor's appointment and like 8 and stuff. And then we got on around 3.20 and streamed till about, it's about like 6 o'clock. Uh, so we did two streams that day, but it worked out. And then the next day I went live at 1253 and then 1252. And after the stream at 1252, I did a second stream of golf at 7 PM. I just did a little two hour stream and then Thursday, 1249 and then Friday, 1259. So the four start times were, you know, right, right around one o'clock. I did three hours, well, two hours, 58 minutes, three hours, six minutes, three hours, 11 minutes, and then seven hours, 59 minutes and 44 seconds. I literally did that because I was like, I'm going to wrap this up like right before eight hours just to piss someone off. But it worked out. We did a good schedule. Monday was the only one that was a little off because of, you know, like I said, the doctor's appointment that I forgot about. Um, next week, I don't think we have anything scheduled next week. I don't think I have, I have no appointments. Nothing's really going on, I don't think. Mish also worked this week like crazy. She worked like 60 hours or something this week. She had a bunch of training to do, so, you know, it was kind of easier to do the schedule kind of just on my own. She wasn't, I was pretty much by myself the whole week. So it kind of made it easier for me to start a new schedule like this. And then next week, she has a couple days off in the middle of the week and stuff. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Should be okay, though. Should be okay. This, we t I talked to her about the start time, and she knows I'm serious about trying to keep the schedule going. So, should be good. Also, the the C the KCIP stuff for this has been pretty good. We had a good stream today. I did the eight hours, and we were on the front page for a while. Um, probably like over an hour. We had like two hundred plus viewers, and the viewership is a part of the KCIP of like how they, like the rate that they pay you at. So. Made over fifty dollars today on the KCIP alone, which is really really good. You now that's a little over. That's like ten gifted right there. You know what I mean? What eleven gifted? So that's really nice for me. You know, helps me out doing these streams, getting more consistent. If the viewership keeps going up, which I feel like the viewership has been a little bit better with the schedule being consistent. I really I know that that's a huge thing. <laughs> you know, I freaking rant about it. Every time someone asks me, like, you know, about becoming a full-time streamer or how to grow their stream, I'm always saying stream consistent times every day. It doesn't have to be a long time. Just do the same little time frame every single day, and it'll do better. And it's something I never did. So feel good to be doing that. So, um, but yeah, week one in the books. This week, we already got a vote for ARC. Because Arc apparently did an update, or they had the Arc Ascended or something. Um, do I have the Xbox app on my PC? I do. I do. Um, they did an Arc Ascended thing where I guess they improved it a bunch and added like a bunch of, um, like improved the graphics and added a bunch of like different new dinos and stuff like that. So I might get on playing that. That might be something I do. My wife loved playing arc i would like to be able to get her on it that could be a fun thing like for late night streams we used to do a lot of those she's works second shift now so it's not really as easy but i might be able to do it i don't know we'll see we'll see but yeah we'll see if people get more votes in 
I'll try to you know get more information, see how people like this voting system. Seems to be pretty popular so far. People seem to like it. I'm gonna take this weekend off, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be back Monday, one o'clock. Uh, these podcasts, I'm gonna keep trying to keep them going. Like I said, it's gonna be a slow week for YouTube. Not really gonna have any recording to do. So with that, it should be possible that I do a couple extra streams, either early morning. You know, I think Mish works like another 6 a.m. day this week. So I might do like a 7 to 10 stream and then do my 1 to 4. So even if my schedule, if I ever do any extra content, I want to make sure the 1 to 4 o'clock window. I want to make sure I always do that. If I do an extra stream later at night or early in the morning, I want to make sure that I'm on from 1 to 4. And if you catch the extra content, you catch the extra content. But if you are looking for my content and you want to, you know, make sure you catch it all you know you don't miss out on anything then one o'clock i'll be there but yeah so after that what else is going on um i had my doctor's appointment i guess i talked about it a little bit it didn't really give me any information that i didn't know um it was the whole like the fatty liver thing like that's what they assumed you know the signs of what i had was going on was you know the liver enzymes were a little high and they did an imaging of it and stuff and they're like yeah it's pretty much what it is you know they solution for it i told him i was like right away i was like i just i'm gonna stop drinking completely because the solution or the causation of the fatty liver like most common issues is excess drinking and being overweight like i think for like extended periods of time and i haven't been under like 190 pounds for more than you know a short period of time in the past like five years you know i've been above i've been like between like 180 and 200 since i was like 22 i don't know i've like always been a stockier guy it's kind of how i've always been i've dropped down to like the 170s like at my best like when i was working out the most um stood in the 180s the most but over the past like i'd say four or five years i've probably been above 190 way more than i was in the 180s like i've been so i think that maintaining that higher weight of what I usually am has been a problem. And then the main issue that causes that for me is drinking. So the calories from drinking alone and alcohol and the way your body processes it makes you, you know, hold weight and just makes you fat. So that is bad. And then when you do drink, you work out less, you eat worse. It just compounds in so many ways that like, you know, 80 calorie Miller light turns into like 800 calories. <laughs> so it just, it gets out of control. So I was like, I just need to stop drinking. And even my doctor, she was like, you don't have to like completely stop drinking. Like, it's not like you have to never drink again. That's not like, it's not like at that point, but if it's definitely a good way to do it. Um, so she was saying the goal for, she was saying the goal to set would be to get down to like 185. I'm at like 195 right now. So if you get down to like 185, that should be a good step. It'd probably help out enough, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get down to like, I want to get down to like 170 like 165 and i want to be like get in shape like legit and it started out good i did a couple of rowing workouts on the rowing machine back there damn um went to the gym a couple times i got bowling coming back up so you know that's a good physical activity me and me should go on golfing tomorrow uh we got yeah just got stuff going on and i'm trying to be more active with it it comes with a lot of motivation for me you know i and the schedule for that, the schedule and my motivation are like super hand in hand. You know, when I get up at, say I get up at 8 a.m., me and Misha hanging out, doing stuff, whatever. And then I have until one o'clock before I have to stream. You know, it's like, even if, say she works and then I have the free time, normally I'd be like, all right, I'll just start streaming now because I have more time. And then I would do a three hour stream, just like I always would. I wouldn't do any extra hours usually. I would just do a three hour stream. And then afterwards, I'd be like, all right, what do I do now? I would like have no direction with my days, which is, you know, a big problem for me, which is why scheduling is something I've, you know, complained about being bad at for years because I find it extremely important. So now that I've had like the, I already, this week, a couple times, I was like, it was like 12, 12, 15. I'm like, all right, I was like, I mean, I'm not doing anything. I was like, I should just go live now. I'll just start a little early. And I was like, I told myself no. And I would come downstairs and I was like, I'll be like, all right, let me clean my desk off. And I was like, oh, let me throw these, these 
can away. Let me get this coffee out of here. Let me clean something up real quick. And then I'd be like, oh, I can clean the litter boxes real quick. I'll keep up with that a little bit. And it's like, I just get more stuff done just throughout my day. And it's been helping out a ton. I love it. Absolutely love it. So hopefully this next week continue being good. Keep getting the workout going. Um, I kind of want to get a new scale. I was just talking about this on stream. I was going to say I should like update. Keep you guys updated with what my weight's at. But my scale, man, I truly don't trust it anymore. It just, it fluctuates so much depending on like literally where I put it on the floor. I try to put it in the same spot, but like I literally will step on it. I'll be like, there's no way I'm that low or that high. And then I'll like move it a quarter of an inch and then it fluctuates a ton. Like it'll be back to like what I think it's going to be at. So I'm like, just really hard for me to trust it. So I kind of want to get a new scale. Um, I don't know if it's just like my floors are too soft in certain spots and you know, it creates issues or and no scale is going to fix it. But I don't know. I got to figure something out because I don't, I don't trust the scale right now. <laughs> Make me feel inconsistent as hell. But you know, I'm hoping, you know, in a couple months I should be able to get down to like 180. I should be able to get down to 180 by the end of the year. You know, it's mid September. You know, I definitely, the first few pounds go off quick. I think I should definitely be below 180 by the end of the year if I do this right. If I don't drink, if I keep working out and I, you know, I, I don't eat that terribly. If I'm not drinking, I kind of have a decent diet. So I think if I could just keep the drinking off, do none of it, I'll be under 180 by the end of the year. It'll be a big difference. So that's the goal. And see if we can keep it up. And if you guys got any questions or any suggestions for anything, that I've talked about, leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.